Let's now go to Amber Lee with a check of our forecast. Amber, it's almost noon and 86 degrees. It's oh, going to be a hot one. Yeah, not only will it be hot, but we're expecting more of that humidity. Just when we thought it went away, it is coming back here in the Southland. You can see it right here. All the clouds starting to move in from the east. So a lot of it really sitting over our mountaintops at the moment. And it will continue to stream across much of the Southland as we head into the rest of the afternoon. Right now, downtown LA, as you mentioned, 80 degrees. Our dew points, you can see, still in the low 60s. So the humidity is there, but it's going to start to really feel even thicker as we head into the next couple of days because that monsoon moisture is definitely flowing back and you can see where all that energy is coming from right now coming in from the southwest and we also have another tropical system that we've been watching it used to be hurricane frank then turned to tropical storm frank so the remnants of tropical storm frank is still kind of pushing in a little bit more cloud cover to us here uh, not just in southern california but to the rest of the state so it's also bringing us bigger than normal waves the last few days so we are dealing with the beach hazard statement till later this afternoon. That means elevated surf, dangerous rip currents for those south facing beaches. If you plan on heading to the coast today, just remember this. And then you probably want to camp out closer to a lifeguard. Afternoon highs a little closer to normal. But then when you pair that with a little bit more of the humidity over the course of the next few days, it's going to feel very sticky for our standards. Remember, we like that dry heat here in the Southland. So anytime we have that moisture kind of just being injected into our atmosphere, we definitely feel it. But today's temperatures near normal. We'll have a light sea breeze, low clouds hugging a lot of our coastal communities today because that marine layer has returned. And then there is a slight change. You can see where all the clouds are right now over the mountaintops to bring us some isolated storm chances today. But the better chance, because that monsoon moisture will be surging in in the next 24 hours, we could start to see those isolated thunderstorms picking up tomorrow and then staying with us as we head into Friday. You can see here with our satellite radar tracker. So we're going to see possibly maybe some sprinkles here and there this afternoon. But the best chance for all those isolated thunderstorms will be by tomorrow afternoon as more of that unstable air pushes in by the evening. Some of it could drift into the lower elevation, sticking around until Friday early morning. And then we're looking at a lot of that slowly starting to go away as some of that moisture goes away from us as that high pressure system continues to wobble back and forth. But that increased storm chance will continue through the weekend and even staying with us into the early part of next week. So it's definitely going to feel a little bit sticky as we head into the next few days. Temperature wise, not really changing, but remember with that humidity, it's going to make it feel even hotter. Valleys will be in the mid 90s until the end of the week. And then look at that getting closer to triple digits as we head toward the weekend. Inland Empire upper 90s with triple digits arriving on Sunday. Beaches are basically staying in the upper 70s for the next few days here. And then for the high deserts, triple digits today, tomorrow. And then we could see that chance of isolated thunderstorms really picking up each afternoon and early evening. Mountains, same thing. Small chance today, better chance as we head into Thursday. And that chance continues on into the start of next week. Chris.